Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my camera bag. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of everything I've got in here and like telling you what I film with and stuff and how I film it. So uh, let's get into it. First up is the bag itself. This is an Amazon basic uh, model. I got it off Amazon obviously and it has like loads of compartments that I need for everything. Like I fit my cameras and everything in here, like the main stuff. Then I have like pouches here for stuff. I can put my handle in this little thing here. And it's just got loads of zips and compartments. It's a really good bag. It's about 25 quid and uh, definitely worth it. It's really uh, padded. It's just an overall great bag, so. So what I used to film with is my Canon 500D. I've had this for about a couple of months. And so far it's like such amazing quality and I love it so much. Um, I also, on this, I have the 18-55mm to zoom range lens. Um, it's got quite good zoom and I use it for all like long lens stuff. This is the tripod I use, it's a Nikon, uh, just a Nikon tripod. It extends, as you can see here, it extends uh, like quite far. And yeah, I use this for all the tripod shots when I'm either on my own or want to get sort of a long lens. So the next thing I have in my camera bag is my Canon ultrasonic 17-85mm uh, to 85 lens. Um, I use this for like really long range filming because it really has a really nice effect and it just frankly looks really cool so really happy with this thing. Next lens I have is probably my favourite lens. It is the Opteca 6.5mm fisheye. I use this for basically all my filming skateboarding lines. You can control how much light you want to get into the lens. Uh, this at the moment is really dirty because I haven't really got um, a cleaner for it but hopefully I'll be getting one of those soon because it's looking pretty dirty. But yeah I use this for most, all, most of my lines and it comes out really well so really proud of this thing too. It also comes with this really cool leather bag and I put it in there so to keep it safe. So next up is my CN160 filming light. I use this for all of the night skating and I even used it on my Q&A because the lighting's always horrible in my room as you can tell by past videos. Uh, 160 LEDs in here. It takes six AA batteries and you can press this to uh, show how much charge it has. You know, turn it on. I haven't got batteries in it at the moment but um, I'll show you the batteries that I have later. You just unclip this and then put the batteries in. I mean, it's really cool and I'm really happy with this thing too. It was about 15 quid, so definitely go and pick one of these up if you're going to be doing night skating. And I also have a little attachment to go in here so I can hook it on to my handle, which I'll show you now. I have this little attachment that screws into the bottom of it here, and then I can hook it on to the sort of X grip thing on the top here. Next thing, I have my camera handle. It slots onto this here. It doesn't have a brand as such. I wrote X Grip on here. I got it off eBay. It was about 13 quid, and like really like this soft handle. Uh, really comfortable. I mean, you can only put one thing on it, but I only use the light, and I don't really have a microphone. So next up, I have this little handy tripod thing. It doesn't go out that much, but it does the job when I really need like close to the ground tripod footage when I'm just on my own. So yeah, just a really compact tripod that stands pretty well, but it's quite, uh, it doesn't work great with this camera because the camera's really heavy and this isn't very strong, so. Next up I have this uh, battery charger. It charges four up, I actually have eight batteries overall. Um, that I'll show you in a second. Um, so it just plugs into the wall, it's really like sleek and it looks really cool. I just keep it in my camera bag just so I never lose it. Have a small cloth for wiping my lens occasionally. <laughs> Here I just have the EOS 500D Canon and booklet. I have this light filter for my N CM160. I have this little filter for it. Uh, this is just like a diffuser so it's not as harsh. Um, I also have this orange one. Also have this orange one for like a day sort of effect. Next I have my bag of battery. I only have four now because uh, one of them is in my controller, like two of them are in my controller and two of them are run out. So I usually charge them in fours 
because the battery charger I have it has four slots in it, so this is why I've got four. I use six for my light when I need it. And I've also got one Procell Duracell one in here. These are Uniros, by the way, and they're about 10 quid for eight of them, so... And these are rechargeable, just saying. Next is this little, um, sort of holder for my iPod. This actually came with the tripod, this little mini tripod, it clipped onto here, like, screwed onto there. Uh, once again, I used this when I had my iPod set up back in the day. Uh, if you went really far back into my channel, well, not really far, but if you went quite far back into my channel, you would, uh, find me using this and I'll show you my iPod setup once um, this video is done but yeah this thing this thing always used to break actually when I pulled it but there, there you go not intentionally trying to break it there but it just slides back on and it's fine like a macro and wide angle lens and I have my fisheye here it's not a very good fisheye but it does the job really it looks pretty cool and it fits onto my iPod using magnetic rings that go around the camera thing, which I'm currently out of, but I'm working on that, and I hopefully I hope to get some more so I can start doing iPhone clips again. Now we're sort of just going on to the little stuff that I have in my camera bag, just a bag of spare bolts, just in case one falls out or one breaks. I also keep just in case my little skate dice. Um, I used to do a series back in the day where I used these, but I don't know. Comment below. Oh, there goes one. Comment below if you want to see that series return, and if you want to go check them out, then uh, go back into my channel, and it was called Skate vs Skate Dice. Here I have a spare element Thriftwood bearing. It rolls pretty nice actually, but uh, I just keep it spare just in case one of my bearings breaks, which literally has never happened to me. But element wax, uh, just in case I need to wax up a ledge or a curb. Shoelaces. Then I just have my classic skate tool. I've had this since literally I've beginning to start to skate. I got it at the van shop in Trafford Centre, and it's never really let me down. It's always there when I need it because it's in my bag, and yeah, I just use this all the time when I need to tighten up my bolts, which they always come loose. So technically, I don't keep this in my bag, but for those of you who want to know, I use an Acer Aspire laptop to do all my editing and stuff. I edit on Movie Maker. So this is basically what my old setup used to look like back in the day. I used to have this attached to the uh, handle and then that clipped into that. I did have the lens on, uh, the magnetic fisheye lens that you can't really see. With this video nearly over, some of you may be thinking, wow, it's a great idea to rob that guy. Well, nope. I carry an assortment of scissors around with me. So if you've enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me here, definitely subscribe. And leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of this. If you enjoyed it, then definitely share it around with your friends. I really enjoy editing these things. And I really hope you enjoyed watching it. So as always, keep skating and thanks for watching.